Maths Olympiad Class 9 Lines, Angles and Quadrilaterals Angle is a figure formed by two rays with the same endpoint. The common endpoint is called the vertex and the two rays are called the arms of the angle. Measure of right angle is 90 degrees. Straight angle is 180 degrees. Acute angle is greater than 0 degree and lesser than 90 degree. Obtuse angle is greater than 90 degrees and lesser than 180 degrees. Reflex angle is greater than 180 degrees and lesser than 360 degrees. When two line or line segments meet each by forming a right angle, then they are said to be perpendicular to each other. The symbol given is used to denote the perpendicularity of two lines and it is read as perpendicular to. Pair of angles Adjacent angles Two angles with a common vertex and a common arm are called adjacent angles. Linear pair Adjacent angle whose sum is 180 degree is called a linear pair. Two angles whose sum is 90 degrees are called complementary angles. Complementary angles need not be adjacent. All linear pairs are supplementary angles whereas all supplementary angles are not linear pairs. Two angles opposite to each other are called vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles are equal. Two lines or line segments which do not intersect and whose perpendicular distance remains constant are called parallel lines. Symbol for parallel is given and it is read as parallel to. Transversal is a line or a line segment which intersects two or more straight lines or line segments at different points. Angles made by a transversal. Eight angles are made by a transversal when it intersects a pair of lines. P is the transversal. Of these, eight angles made, angle 1 and angle 5, angle 2 and angle 6, angle 3 and angle 7. Angle 4 and angle 8 are called the corresponding angles. Angle 1 and angle 3, angle 6 and angle 8, angle 2 and angle 4, angle 5 and angle 7 are called vertically opposite angles. Angle 2 and angle 8, angle 3 and angle 5, angle 1 and angle 7, angle 4 and angle 6 are called alternate angles. All corresponding vertically opposite and alternate angles are equal. Angle 4 plus angle 5 is equal to 180 degrees. Angle 3 plus angle 6 is equal to 180 degrees. Angle 3 and angle 6 and angle 4 and angle 5 are interior angles which lie on the same side of the transversal. Corresponding angles lie on the same side of the transversal. Alternate angles lie on the opposite side of the transversal. A plane figure bounded by three line segments which are formed by points is called a triangle. Three sides, three angles and three vertices are called the elements of a triangle. Points which lie inside the triangle are said to be in interior region. Points which lie on the boundary of a triangle are said to be on region. The interior and boundary of a triangle is called a triangular region. Classification of triangles A triangle with all three acute angles is called an acute angle triangle. A triangle with one right and two acute angles is called a right angle triangle. A triangle with one obtuse angle and two acute angles is called an obtuse angle triangle. A triangle with three equal sides is called an equilateral triangle. A triangle with two equal sides is called an isosceles triangle. A triangle with three unequal sides is called a scalene triangle. Properties of a triangle Angle sum property Sum of all the three interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Inequality property Sum of any two sides of a triangle is always greater than the third side. When any side of a triangle is extended beyond the vertex, it forms an exterior angle with the other side at the same vertex. An exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles. Exterior angle is equal to the sum of two interior opposite angles. Every triangle has six exterior angles and three interior angles. 
to get exceeded angles the sides of a triangle are to be produced in one direction only either in clockwise or in anticlockwise a quadrilateral in which the measure of each angle is less than 180 degrees is called a convex quadrilateral a quadrilateral in which the measure of at least one of the angles is more than 180 degrees is known as a concave quadrilateral in convex quadrilateral both diagonals lie in the interior whereas in the case of concave quadrilateral one diagonal lies in the exterior and the other lies in the interior example here ac and bd are diagonals the sum of the angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees or four right angles when the sides of a quadrilateral are produced the sum of the four exterior angles so formed is 360 degrees various types of quadrilaterals trapezium a quadrilateral having exactly one pair of parallel sides is called a trapezium a trapezium is said to be an isosceles trapezium if its non parallel sides are equal a b c d is a trapezium in which a b is parallel to d c this trapezium is said to be an isosceles trapezium if a b is parallel to d c and a d is equal to b c parallelogram a quadrilateral in which both pairs of opposite sides are parallel is called a parallelogram a b c d is a parallelogram in which AB is parallel to DC and AD is parallel to BC properties in a parallelogram any two opposite sides are equal in a parallelogram any two opposite angles are equal in a parallelogram the diagonals bisect each other in a parallelogram each diagonal divides it into two congruent triangles in a parallelogram any two adjacent angles have their sum equal to 180 degrees that is it is supplementary rhombus a quadrilateral having all sides equal is called a rhombus abcd is a rhombus in which ab is parallel to dc ad is parallel to bc and ab is equal to bc is equal to cd is equal to ta properties the diagonals in a rhombus bisect each other each diagonal of a rhombus divides it into two congruent triangles opposite angles of a rhombus are equal and the sum of any two adjacent angles 180 degrees in a rhombus the diagonals bisect each other at right angles the opposite sides of a rhombus are parallel all the sides of a rhombus are equal rectangle a parallelogram whose angles are all right angles is called a rectangle example abcd is a rectangle in which ab is parallel to cd ad is parallel to bc and angle a is equal to angle b is equal to angle c that is equal to angle d will be equal to 90 degrees properties opposite sides of a rectangle are equal and opposite angles of a rectangle are equal the diagonals of a rectangle bisect each other each diagonal divides the rectangle into two congruent triangles the diagonals of a rectangle are equal square a parallelogram having all sides equal and each angle equal to a right angle is called a square example A B C D is a square in which A B is parallel to D C, A D is parallel to B C, A B is equal to B C that is equal to C D is equal to D A, and angle A is equal to angle B that is equal to angle C will be equal to angle D is equal to ninety degrees. Properties: All sides are equal. All angles are equal. The diagonals are equal and bisect each other at right angles. Each diagonal divides the square into two congruent right angle isosceles triangles. Kite, a quadrilateral having two pairs of equal adjacent sides but unequal opposite sides is called a kite. 
Example, A, B, C, D is a kite in which A, B is equal to A, D and B, C is equal to C, D. Conditions for a quadrilateral to become a parallelogram. Both pairs of opposite sides should be equal or one pair of opposite sides should be equal and parallel or both pairs of opposite angles should be equal or its diagonals should bisect each other. Conditions for a quadrilateral to become uptangle. All angles should be right angles or its diagonal should be equal and bisect each other or both pairs of opposite side should be equal and one angle must be 90 degrees or both pairs of opposite sides and its diagonal should be equal. Conditions for a quadrilateral to become a rhombus. All its sides should be equal or its diagonal should bisect each other at right angles or both pairs of its opposite sides should be equal and the diagonals should intersect at right angles. Conditions for a quadrilateral to become a square. All of its sides should be equal and one angle must be 90 degrees or all of its sides and the diagonals should be equal or all its angles should be equal and the diagonals should intersect at right angles. The number of measurements required to construct different geometrical objects. To construct a quadrilateral, five independent measurements are needed. To construct a parallelogram, only three independent measurements are required. To construct a trapezium, four independent measurements are required. To construct a rhombus, two independent measurements are required. To construct a rectangle, two independent measurements are required. To construct a square, one measurement is required.